Happy New Year and welcome back to the channel. For you who are new, Tyler here and I help people make themselves a priority, turning their talents and skills into income. And today, the topic that we're gonna talk about is the skills that you're gonna need in order to actually achieve the goals that you set for yourself this year. It can be so easy to set New Year's goals, but so many people have experienced getting on these goals trying it for a while, and then letting life happen, so to say, letting those goals get away from themselves, and then we start again here on January 1st. It doesn't have to be that way. And as a person who has tried and tested many different ways to achieve my goals, to keep track of things, and just everything under the sun that I needed to use on my own personal development and self-employed journey these are by far the best tips that i can give you that will get you to your goals faster than any other video you've probably seen on the internet these skills these tricks these little tips i'm going to give you are not so to say some fancy magic way to make things happen but if you are disciplined in doing the actions, the very basic actions that are guaranteed to get you success, you will achieve your goals. You must be disciplined on doing the actions that are going to get you there. So if you can commit to doing the tips that you're going to hear in this video, you will achieve your goals accidentally just by doing it, following through. Now the first tip that I have for you, and this might be one of the most important tips but it's to decide exactly what it is that you want. Now, you can't achieve arriving at a destination accidentally if you don't know where you're going. So when you decide what it is that you actually want to achieve, what you're doing is you're putting in the locations, the coordinates into the GPS. Next, that comes the discipline, the action, doing the thing that you said you're gonna do. But after you decide, you are setting your sails. You are telling the map, you're telling the world, the universe, God, the creator, the direction that you intend to arrive given you do actions or move upon a sequence of actions down this path. And at the end of this path, you should have achieved your goal. Now, the first tip was a little basic, but the second tip is where we're going to get all of the meat and potatoes. This is where you make a plan. And this part cannot be slept on. When you're making a plan, it's utilizing all of the resources, the tools that you have at your disposal, and knowing that using these pieces together are gonna be like cogs in the wheel, making the whole operation work. So, a couple things that you should add to your plan is learning some type of organizational skill, utilizing your calendar, planner, reminder, app, notes, something to keep track of the ideas that you have, something to keep track of the projects you're working on, something to keep track of the skill sets that you're trying to learn, and things that you're researching currently. Because everybody knows this to be true. But if you allow life to happen, all it is is just prioritizing other things, and other things will happen in your life. Every day, something's gonna happen. You get regular messages, people messaging, calling you, whatever it might be that gets your attention, and then you go down another path. It just stole your dream from you for that moment. And unless you have things to remind you within your everyday life that this is the goal that you set for yourself and you should probably get back on the plan that you made step-by-step -step process to achieve your goal, and again, being disciplined on doing the step-by-step -step plans that you make, is the only way to achieve your goal. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna give you a list of tools that you can actually use. And if you use these tools, you can achieve your goals a lot faster, okay? So, as I mentioned before, the whole world is out there to get your attention. Where attention goes, energy flows, and energy is money. So if you can get the attention, you can get money. So that's the thing, right? So people are out there competing for your attention. On your phone, you got notifications going off by every single app that exists on that phone, trying to get you to click on it. And they make money from the advertising space they have on there. So what you need to do is keep your attention focused on your goals. And how can you do that? Well, this is the best tool 
that I can recommend. It's, it's a series of tools, it's not just one. Honestly, you have to build your environment to support your goals. And it's not just people in your environment, these are tools and resources that you can put in there and it's gonna self-suggest, auto-suggest that you're gonna achieve your goals. Number one, what I recommend heavily is a whiteboard. I have one that I see every morning. It's right in front of my bed. So I'm going to bed, I'm looking at my goals. I'm waking up, I'm looking at my goals. It's reminding me every single day of what I'm aiming at, what I'm trying to get, what I'm doing it all for, and the things I gotta do next. Things I'm working on, the skills, all these kind of things. Whatever I need, I put it on that whiteboard. And then when necessary, when it's done, erase it, get rid of it, you know, whiteboard is complete. I can also transfer the information that is on my whiteboard into a more modern solution, which is what I would recommend as well. I would recommend you have your goals on that whiteboard and on your phone. Put it in the Reminders app. And the thing about the Reminders app is it is so useful. You can get on your phone, open up the Reminders app and create different sections for things that you wanna be reminded on. And this is what I would heavily recommend. Remind yourself on business if you're an entrepreneur. What things do you need to learn? What, are your, what pro projects are you working on? What resources, what connections do you need to make? What do you need to do next? Put it in there. And then self-development. Put another folder in there for skills that you have. Remind yourself on the skills you're working on. Where are you? Where'd you leave off on? How was the last time you worked on that skill? Remind yourself to go practice, do something. And another category, research. Put a tab in there that shows what you're looking up. Because every day you're going to have good ideas, but guess what? You might not be in the opportune situation to go look up the information that you're thinking. We could be having a conversation and a great idea for a business starts and then we don't know how to start it. So we have to look up information to bridge the gap from what we know is possible and where the idea is and where we currently are. So that's a gap. I got to look up that information. So if I were to leave this conversation and I go into another one, I might forget what we talked about. I might forget what I said I have to look up. So why not open my reminders app and I can do this with my voice commands, tell my phone what I need to be reminded of, put it in the section for research, and then later at a more convenient time, my phone tells me what I'm gonna look it up, what I'm researching, okay? And then what about every single day? This is one that I did a long time ago, and it has helped because I learned about it from Napoleon Hill's book, uh, Think and Grow Rich, uh, or something else from Napoleon Hill. I have read like everything, but I put a reminder every single day to boost my enthusiasm. And you know what, it's done. Now, if you get desensitized to your reminders, it won't do anything for you. And if you don't have a plan of action for what that actually means, it won't do anything for you. It'll just be popping up on your phone. But for me, when I saw the reminder, I asked myself, basically, what is my state like right now? Am I enthusiastic? What is my posture like? What am I portraying with my body language? And position myself or change something to suit a more enthusiastic version of myself. And you know what that does? It boosts your own energy. You're like a battery and if you're going around every day and you're in these drained, like fatigue postures, you're draining everyone in your environment, you look, you look lazy, you look tired, people around you are gonna then become that same posture, get lazy looking, tired and slow conversations and you're gonna go home feeling drained. But if you boost your own posture, you boost your own energy, you do, you do the internal work of boosting the enthusiasm, you start pouring into others by being enthusiastic and all of a sudden your environment is changing. And this will help you achieve your goals because when you're trying to achieve your goals, others are not. But if you can maintain the energy within yourself to stay enthusiastic on your goals, you're gonna push away the people who are not useful to you and attract the ones who are gonna help you get to your goals. And that's simply it. So, to recap, the most important tools that I can give you is just to make lists that are always in your face. You have your phone with you all the time, so use the Reminders app. Put some reminders in there of what you need to work on, skills, research, projects, whatever. Then, when you go home, 
put on a whiteboard, set one up, put it on the wall. Put some long-term goals that you're working on. Long-term, because you're not gonna really remove these. You're gonna be working towards these. These aren't things that you're gonna just achieve in a day, but these are things that you can do something, some small action to move you towards achieving that goal. And once you do that, that's it. That guarantees that if you do and stay disciplined on that path that you've decided on in step one, and then you've made the plan, what do you need to do? Bridging the gap, and then you start executing and you stay disciplined on it? How can you possibly fail? How? The world would literally have to conspire against you, taking lists away, banning reminders, and things like that in order to stop you from achieving your goals, and that's not gonna happen because other people use it too. So that's it. And that's how you're going to accidentally achieve your goals this year. That's how you're going to accidentally actually achieve them, which is really dope, right? So if these tips have helped you out, I want you to drop a comment on one goal that you're going to work on this entire year. And then like the video and share it with a friend. If you tag them too, then they got to share their goals. So accountability partner, that's what that is. See you in the next one. Tyler Wellness out and don't forget to subscribe. Make yourself a priority.